Hey, it's Rachel from All About Planners. So in this video, I'm doing a review of one of the many custom planners that I have gotten from Agendio. The rest are in the haul video, which I will link below. So this one, I went back to kind of traditional layout with weekly. Um, it's actually got a four page weekly spread, so you can choose four pages if you want. And instead of a traditional monthly calendar, I went with a list style. So let's have a closer look. So one of the things that I would say is definitely a con of this company is the lack of pretty patterns on the covers. This is pretty basic. Um, just dot grid you can monogram it as you saw there in terms of the thickness i padded it out to the maximum capacity you can choose as many add-on pages as you want like uh, lined or meal planning or dot grid um, you could do checklists you can make your own layouts etc so it's uh, quite full on the coil you can't really add extra pages but it's super lightweight it weighs it feels like it weighs practically nothing um, definitely could take this with you in your handbag it's not going to be clunky and bulky at all so it tells you what model you chose if you want to reorder it. If you want to have a look at the one that I picked, that's the model number, which I customized. If it's a dated planner that you make with them, they by default, well pretty much in all of them, include this dates at a glance page. And then it goes into whatever pages you've picked. So I opted to order the pages. Yes, you can order them however you want. Um, at the front, I've got the monthly calendars in list format, because that's what I prefer to use instead of the traditional um, box calendar layout. I opted for this one to just keep everything black. Black is cheaper. If you want color printing, they do charge you a little bit extra for that. Um, you can pick whatever colors, like different colors for each month. But I opted to just keep it minimalist because you can always decorate it with colored highlighters and pens and all that fun uh, planner accessories. So I've got my days of the month and then down the bottom a little note section as well. I opted for some dash lines and I'm going to write the month up the top there or maybe use a pretty sticker to jazz up the page a bit. This one is a six month planner. You can pick whatever duration you want. So for my weeklies, this is the first part. So this is the um, days of the week section. You can pick whatever little elements you want, like you might want a colored bubble, bubble with uh, white text. Pick whatever you please. And then down the bottom here, I have Saturday and Sunday. I wanted a full amount, like the same as a weekday size, space to plan. So it pushed the Sunday over to the other side of the page. You can put them all on the one if you want. And I have done a, um, I have ordered one in that style, but I found I wanted just a little bit extra space. So I opted for the bigger one. You can choose if you want recurring tasks pre-printed. So those are things that I tend to do on the first of every month. So I've got those pre-printed reminders in there. The font is small, it doesn't waste space, you've still got the whole big section to plan in. And then on the right page, I opted to add a due this week and a project section. You can pick whatever titles you want, those are just the ones that work for me. And I also added a checklist, because I can never have enough checklists, love it, love it, love it. Okay, next, this is my second part, so I wasn't joking about the checklist. I have a whole nother page again, just for um, other types of to-dos. So I've got top priority and then little things and then other to-dos. So I'm not going to run out of list space anytime soon. And I was thinking that one could be like a little project box or put a quote in there or just something random extra space. And this week section, so I'm either going to use this for pre-planning or for doing a weekly review. Probably weekly review because I've got all this space here that I can kind of use for pre-planning. So probably a weekly review, like, you know, what went um, well, what didn't go so well, like rate the week. I do have uh, weekly review questions. I'll include the link in the description box below if you want to see what um, questions I ask myself. So it's the same continued the whole way through. You can pick um, as many pages. You don't have to do a four page spread. That's just what I opted to do. You could just leave it as a two page. Then at the back, you could add some notes pages, but I purchased some other notebooks from them, which are just solely like dot grid, you know, for bullet journaling and extra notes pages and a whole project planner. Um, I'll include a link to my haul in the description box below. So at the back of this one, I just kept it simple. I just did the habit tracker. So monthly, and I've got it split over into two sections, but kept on the one page. And these notebooks... A coil bounce, you can put them back completely on themselves and write on them that way. This is the A5 size, however you can get uh, bigger. There is about 7 by 9 ish around about that, which is medium. And then you can also get the large, which is a uh, letter size. But I think this is a really good size for portable. And you've still got enough room to write without it being too small. Like some of those really tiny A6 is just getting way too small. Anyway, I really like this planner and I hope you found this review helpful. If you want to see a pen test, I did one um, on this paper for another one of the planners that I brought from them, which will also be linked in the description box below.